Hi folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics and today's classic is a Morris Minor from 1969. Now this one presents extremely well. Um, it's a four-door model. It's the sort of series three of the Morris Minor, I guess, with the 1098cc. So this one is probably the pick of the Morris Minor range if you're planning on using this car on a more regular basis as it does have that extra power. Now, it's Old English White, which is a, a nice creamy white colour. Um, the bodywork is in extremely good condition and I will uh, go around slowly and point out anything you need to see in this video. Prior to uh, the previous owner trading this car in, since he bought it, he spent just under £3,000 um, greatly improving the car and I can run over some of those highlights, but you will see exactly what was done in my advert. But, well, a little clue there, I just noticed the exhaust system. That was one of them. A new radiator. The head was refurbished with hardened seats for unleaded fuel. Um, the uh, timing chain, water pump. Uh, the car had uh, a new gasket set on the head. Uh, a new carburetor, a new distributor. Um, it's a huge list, uh, four new Bridgestone tyres, which I think are probably the best one on the market for the Morris Miners. He didn't like the cheaper tyres that was fitted. Um, he didn't do anything with the bodywork or the interior, but regarding that, the car itself was uh, restored back in the early 2000s, the interior included. The interior is one of the nicest things about the Morris Miner because they've done a really good job with the um, colour scheme. It's like a, a light seat, almost like a white seat, creamy like the exterior, and then with a maroon accents around it on the door cards, and it works really well. Um, a pair of uh, inertia reel seat belts in the rear, uh, so that's great for carrying your, your grandchildren. Uh, and it's got really good uh, condition uh, burgundy uh, seats. You've got a couple of extra dials that have been fitted here, um, which is a uh, amp gauge, uh, water temperature, oil temperature, and then of course the traditional um, large speed over fuel gauge and switch gear. The car starts extremely well, runs really well. Uh, I can't quite reach the engine bonnet release. Oh, yes, I can. I'm going to do my one handed bonnet opening trick if I can to show you a little under the engine bay. It's not too bad, the Morris Minor. Um, a large, or in fact a huge, uh, battery from Bosch there. Um, I, can, I can see there, there's the new distributor. That's the new SU carburetor. Um, you can see that housing for the um, thermostat is new, as is this radiator. Um, in fact, if you look closely here, you can see where the head itself is still got its black paint on, where it hasn't done a great deal. Um, so lots of new bits under there. Um, the engine bay is all good and clean um, and it does start and drive extremely well. Sorry, one of the other things that was replaced was the rear lever arms and bump stops have not just come to me. Um, it's rock solid underneath um, and I think with the combination of really good paintwork and really nice interior, it does make it, I think, a... Morris Minor in superior condition. Now, the gentleman who uh, clearly was pride and joy, he wanted to point absolutely everything out to me. Um, so if we do a walk around together to show you the bodywork, so the near side rear wing I would describe as in excellent condition all the way around, the correct wheel embellishes, and I think I mentioned the new tires. The bottom of these doors are rock solid. You can't see a great deal, but we have had the benefit of being underneath the car and hopefully you can see from there that is all very solid, showing off that new exhaust. Um, so bottoms of the doors, sill panels, A and B posts all in excellent condition. The front wing is in excellent condition, as is the bonnet. Now there's a little, where is it? Uh, is it that side or that side? I think it's here. There's a little bubbling right down here, but it's pretty minor. Um, very nice on the front bumper. The chrome's very nice, as are the overriders. Uh, nice bright headlamps. Uh, we've got four mirrors uh, on this car. There's no excuse not to see what's behind you. Um, the uh, 
uh, offside front wing is in excellent condition. The paintwork especially very nice. The door, the bottoms of these doors, which you've got to watch out for in these Morris Miners, they do have a tendency of, of cracking through corrosion. The paintwork is really solid. It's excellent here on the front and rear door on the offside. The rear wing on the offside is in excellent condition, as is the chrome and rear bumper. And just down at the bottom here, you see we've got a few bubbles through the bottom. Not broken through, but they were pointed out to me, and I must point them out to you. That's the old radiator that was fitted. There's a few bits in the back here. Um, you've got to be careful because of data protection with that logbook, but you can see there is absolutely no shortage of paperwork, invoices and receipts for this particular Morris Mine. You'll be very happy with that lot. Um, now, I'm going to just show you back inside the car for a minute. Now, everything's nicely greased up on this car, including now my hand, because the, uh, the lock was very heavily greased up but it's better than not having no grease so let's have a little walk around we we'll talk about the morris minor generally they are a super popular car on the uk roads they made rather a lot of them and they're still a fairly common sight at classic car shows and rallies because they're well loved they're easy to drive they have a big steering wheel so they're easy to steer they haven't got very wide tires so power steering isn't really missed on a model like this they are zippy and as I say the 1098 in my humble opinion is probably the model to go for if you're planning on doing a few more miles this car is completely standard bar an upgraded uh, interior trim and a few extra um, gauges um, and when I say standard we, we, we're not seeing things like uh, uh, conversions for shock absorbers uh, or disc brakes uh, or larger engines this was something which happened quite a lot of Morris miners but ironically despite all of those improvements generally speaking cars which are modified like that end up getting well, being worth less than ones which are kept standard so this one 1969 one of the last couple of years actually for the Morris Minor the four-door one uh, I think is quite popular people are always asking me for four-door cars when I've only got two door cars in stock it's great for taking the family out or the grandchildren especially with the rear seat belts um, and a nice bright presentable Morris Minor um, now the uh, odometer shows um, 27,000 miles or in fact looking at the paperwork and all those old receipts it's 127,000 miles but be aware that does uh, include uh, a full restoration in the early 2000s and that's when uh, it's highly likely the uh, engine would have been rebuilt um, in the advert you'll see that all the fluids are changed axles gearboxes so on and so forth excellent braking system the car st stops very well and it starts very easily and it's a real pleasure to drive now we've sold many many Morris miners over the years and I think we know how to spot a good one as soon as this one come in it went straight onto our ramp the mechanic inspected it to make sure of its structural integrity checking out for corrosion which sadly a lot of these classic cars suffer from this one is really solid clearly since its restoration it's been well looked after because of the condition it's still in now you will be happy with it when you see it because it really does look as good here as it does um, when you come and see it live i mean it's it's difficult sometimes with photos i think i've shown you the areas where there is a minor bubbling just that on the front and the bit across the end of the boot lid but it is pretty minor other than that it is a pretty much uh, perfect condition bodywork car now um, we have this car in stock we are able to deliver it anywhere in the UK at a sensible price we just need your postcode to do so we can also part exchange your existing classic um, or modern and even a light commercial and we've been known to take in the odd motorcycle now we also have on site a garage so we do prepare all the cars they have a thorough um, pre-delivery inspection before they leave us and the motor mechanic is highly experienced in old cars like this so you can be rest assured that the cars 
will reach you in good working order and they're going to be ready to take out to the road. Now we are based in the lovely Hampshire countryside and we do offer um, an after sale service so if, if you would like to bring the car back to us for continued uh, maintenance and repairs you'll be very welcome to do so and we always offer uh, a discount to any customer who comes back to us who's bought a car from us. Well folks that's 10 minutes talking about a Morris Minor 1000 four door from 1969, a lovely colour scheme of old English white. Um, particularly nice interior with those dual tone uh, seats with burgundy and and a sort of a creamy white. Uh, lovely carpets. Um, I'll tell you what. While we're all together, let me just jump in. I'll turn the key, and you can have a listen to that familiar sound of the Morris Minor engine. This is where you're getting them pre it starts, but of course, uh, having just driven here, I'm quite confident there's not going to be that problem. But let's have a look. Let's turn that choke down. Oh, yes, you probably recognize that sound. Well, folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics. Thank you very much for watching today's video, and I look forward to hearing from you to help you with any inquiries or if you'd like to buy this wonderful little Morris Minor from 1969. Thanks folks.